Play is taking advantage of something meant to be used as a way for lawmakers to limit their exposure to the coronavirus. KITV4's Tom George now joins us live to explain why this has become so controversial and what Kaheli's office is saying about it. Tom. Well, you know, a lot of us have been getting used to the whole work from home setup during this pandemic. That's not unusual, but Congress has something similar. It's called proxy voting. Some, though, are using it a lot more than others. And now Congressman Kai Kaheli is taking some heat for it. When Kai Kaheli first ran for Congress, he was challenging Tulsi Gabbard, who he argued was focused more on running for president than on her constituents in Hawaii. It's really too bad that Congresswoman Gabbard would, doesn't just focus on her job. That's what the people of Hawaii want. Now, in some ways, the tables have turned. During the pandemic, the House began allowing proxy voting. That's where members can submit a letter asking another member to vote on his or her behalf. But currently, only about 20 percent of Congress members are still using it. Congressman Kahele is one of them. Just this year, casting 120 out of 125 floor votes by proxy, and he hasn't been on the Hill since January. Only three other members have used it more. Contrast that with fellow Hawaii Congressman Ed Case, who hasn't missed a floor vote in person in 2022. People should ask, you know, does he have a legitimate reason to exercise these proxy rules? He certainly has a legal right to exercise these proxy rules. We did ask, and his answer was that he lives in a multi-generational home and is trying to limit cross-country travel. But with a rumored run for governor, some wonder if being in Hawaii instead of D.C. is for other reasons. It certainly is out of the ordinary and questionable behavior, and it doesn't pass the smell test. And while, yes, the Hawaii to D.C. slog is grueling, it's what members signed up for. And when it comes to being effective in office, Milner says there's no substitute for those in-person meetings. Nothing that he faced here is any different than anybody else. And it certainly is the expectation of legislators from Hawaii to bust their chops and come back here regularly. It's very hard. But Kaheli's office is defending his record, saying during his time at home, he's visited every island and has been working on legislation impacting everything from education to health care and farmers, along with tackling the ongoing Red Hill water crisis. As for what all this means politically, that's up to voters. This is wonderful. This is what everyone should do at all times. It's great. Nothing wrong with asking questions. And now some lawmakers have challenged that proxy voting system in court, but it has held up amid the ongoing pandemic. Now, the current House rules for proxy voting run through the middle of May. Now, by the way, this is only for the House. In the Senate, members are still required to vote in person. Tom George, KTV4, Island News.